Welcome to the studio today. A very exciting episode. This was a little inspired by me finding out about a new DAW that I didn't know of. And it's by a company that I highly appreciate because like back in the days when I was DJing, I was DJing with vinyl only for the first four or five years. And then I was thinking about switching to CDs and media players, but I really love the feel of vinyl. So I went with like the Serato system back then. It was the very first iteration where you had like a vinyl with a time code on it. And like by the time code, by the sound of it, it knew where you are on the platter and it felt like vinyl, but you could put any kind of track on that kind of fake vinyl and you saved a ton of money by not having to buy all of these vinyls. You were way more flexible. And for the very first time, I could play my own music live in front of people. So um, let's head upstairs, open up the door, try and make some music with it, and do like a little fun challenge me using this door for the very first time. So. This new DAW is called Serato Studio and just right here, first screen is new beat, new remix. So let's maybe start with the template or check out the EDM template. Maybe, maybe it has something interesting to it. It looks fairly different than any other DAW that I know. It has like the typical Serato style that you know from all of the DJ products, which is good. I think this DAW is also a lot for people that already use these products and want to start making remixes and start making full productions or edits and stuff like that. So let's check if I hit play. Yes, it plays. So we have here a step sequencer, which I absolutely love. This is very, very good for electronic dance music and also for ur urban music and also pop music. Let's just add right here kicks. Yeah, simple techno. Let's maybe, let's maybe do some techno. I feel like dirty, dirty techno today. Snare, of course, two and four. Don't really like the tone of the snare, so let's key shift it. And it's still a little long. That's a lot better. Close hi hat, of course, and the offbeat. Also, this one, a little tweaking. Key shift it maybe down. Maybe just decrease it in volume, I think, right here. Yes. And we can take out all of the lows. This is cool. This is DJ style. A very simple three band EQ. Let's maybe add a clap. But a lot quieter. Although now it sounds a little less like techno. Maybe some rim shots. Now we're getting back to techno a little. Let's try reversing it. Also very interesting. So very simple, like the step sequencer, spot on. That's all you need. You can add more drums, add more samples, more instruments. There are also a bunch of sample packs available. There is also in the library, you can access all of your songs that you have in, in your iTunes library or in any other kind of music program. You can load it in there and take an acapella, stretch it, change it. Uh, projects, of course, what you've been working on. Demos right here that are like integrated and a good starting point. Drums, different samples. So we could now replace the kick. Now we can, for example, add an instrument so uh, let's see, let's drop an instrument right there. Acoustic piano, why not? 
Oh, okay, that's nice. It lets you play in key and you can use your keyboard. Auto chords. Very nice. And playing key is probably, yes, right here at the top you can choose your key. Let's, let's stay in C. Let's maybe, actually, let's make it A minor. It's weird playing it with like the keyboard of your computer, but for on the go, that's a good system. Okay, let's let's do the the classic home producer style kind of way and just draw in some some notes. Let's let's really make it fully techno, but we definitely need to replace the piano sound to something more oh yeah, something like that. That's of course too high and ooh, did you see that? Wait. Up there is like a representation of what what I did. Like this right there, the waveform, it kind of transformed the loop that I've made in a waveform. And this waveform is by far my favorite waveform. Um, like for years, always when I finished a song, I dragged it into a Serato, like the DJ version, because it has this amazing waveform that lets you see like the transients, how long everything is. And I'm very used to the color scheme, so the more red, the lower it is in frequency, and I think the more blue, green, and, and bright, the higher in frequencies. And this really always helped me to double check, are my kicks too long, are they too loud, how compressed is the entire song? Because for example, right here in the waveform, if you go really close, you can see that like the kick without the snare has still a little room, so you could now on the master compress it really hard and, and make everything bigger squeeze it a little more. So that's really helpful and it does that in real time. So I can go back in here. Um, let's take this kick away and it updated it. That's kind of cool. Let's put the kick back in there. Yeah, very fast, very responsive. Um, but let's go back to our, like the start of our bass line. We should definitely get it lower. Maybe even lower. Yeah, very, very simple bass line. But I mean, it's just for testing the DAW. So you can like MIDI draw your stuff. You can use the plain key feature. You can do it with your keyboard. You can attach any external keyboard. That's also no problem. And it actually lets you use plugins. So we can use any kind of plugin, which is brilliant. That's why we just, just take Serum. And as it looks, it can take VSDs and audio units. That's great. Yeah, we just drag it in there. Serum opens. Again here, let's put it in a lower octave. Let's maybe pick like a nice preset. Uh, I actually made some of myself, if you're interested. Link down below. Um, distortion stab wobble. Let's take bass one. Doesn't sound that bassy. Yeah, that's nice and good. Plugins work. Um, the layout so far, I actually like it. I mean, you got like your your deck on the right side, which is a little similar to like the Ableton clip kind of view, because you just stack stuff on top. We got like the drums, then there's like an empty deck. We can actually delete. We can add new drums. We can add samples. So let's maybe do that. We haven't done that right here. Let's check samples. Okay. You know what? Let's actually take something out of my productions. Working right now on a live setup of one of my songs. So I 
got all of the files bounced out. Let's see what it does to the main melody. Just dragged it in there. Again, the waveform is there. Okay, we now got like a basic sampler. I can add, um, let's check. I can definitely add somewhere. So it automatically picked three places. I can move them now around, like chop it up, like, like you're used to from most samplers. So you can kind of take something, chop it apart, rearrange it again and play it like an instrument. That's cool. And also what I realized, you have down below here scenes. So you can have like different sections already pre-made for a song and change them in different ways, play different melodies, try out stuff and, and see how it works. And then the last part you need when producing music is definitely like an arrangement view. So you go just on song view right here and it pops up open down here. You can extend it, you can close it. And you just have your, your parts in here. Again here, again doing the waveform for the entire master on your master change so you can see it actually. You can add more audio, different tracks, you can automate them. Basically everything you need in a DAW. It just has like a slight different approach, a slightly different layout that is definitely up to preference. I'd say this is perfect for people that already use Serato stuff. This is perfect for DJs, people that want to edit, to, to remix. Also, if you, you throw in a cappellas in there, it analyzes the key for you. So it's also for people that aren't that musically trained. You can set the key, it will pitch everything to that key. So you can't really make a mistake when it comes to, to harmony and stuff like that, which is really great. Also really great for beginners. The layout, again, matter of preference, like having these two windows, I actually like it. The only thing I would probably not really recommend it for is if you do like, I don't know, classic music, if you need notation, um, film scores, I, I haven't found a place where you can like load up a video and do a film score to it. It's more like, again, for like more pop music, urban music, like club music, it's perfect for that. Like every kind of music that is actually being DJed, mingled, edited, twisted, that's, that's, that's where the strengths are at. So yeah, all in all, good. It's fairly new, so I'm sure they will implement even more. If you're interested to check it out yourself, I'll link it down below in the description. And please let me know if you're interested to see this start of maybe a series, be extended, maybe me testing another DAW. Let me know in the comments which one. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Tomorrow back again here in the studio making more music.